Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I am packaging up some Happy Mail. I'm taking my FabFitFun box, and this is the front, but I'm going to cover that with the shipping label so it won't be seen, and you'll just see all the pretty decorations behind it. And then this is the cover I made for the middle. So I'm sending it to Tina. I will link her channel down below. We are part of a secret spring swap and I actually had a FabFitFun box for spring that I really wanted to use because it said spring 2019, but the colors of this fall box from last year actually matched the collection I was working with better. So I'm using this and I'm going to show you how I package it all up. So the first thing I'm going to put in the bottom of the box are uh, she has three children, as do I. I think she also has a boy and two girls. My girls love the white chocolate and my son would love this crispy solid bunny. So I'm actually putting these in the bottom of the box for her kids. And I'm going to have a little note that will tell her that those are for the kids. So I think I should put... some crinkle paper on this part just to keep those from sliding around. Over there. It's nice. Okay. So I used the Echo Park S Spring Market Collection to create all the packaging and gifts that are in this kit. So we were supposed to make five gifts and gift five gifts. So I'm posting it now. She would have received it and opened it already. I um, packaged up for her inside of each of these packages I'm showing you the Crate Paper Maggie Holmes Sunny Days. So this is the ephemera pack from Crate Paper Sunny Days and you can see that I've put flowers and I've used the tape. This collection kit, I'll tell you, I got so much use out of this one collection kit. I used it to make this entire Happy Mail package. This is the thickers for the Sunny Days collection. I cut out the tags. I used some Heidi Swap Color Shine and splattered that. I cut out a little butterfly flower button, cut out one of the, or just that's one of the stickers from the elements sheet. And that's there. And oh, this package I had to wrap in paper because none of the 12 by 12s would cover the whole thing. This is the six by eight summer um, days paper pad. And I've wrapped it with this pretty polka dot paper and I've put some of the elements stickers. This is one of the rosettes that I was gifted by Amber in my last swap for Valentine's Day. It was a secret Cupid swap. So, that there. <clears throat> Another sunny days, not summer days, sunny days, um, gift this one. This one might be the, um, oh, the bows. That's what's in here, are the sunny day bows. And so I cut out some of the backs of the paper here, like that. And I just pasted the different flowers on that. I put a flower behind one of the element stickers. I put a little butterfly and I clipped it together with a little paper clip. And that's and this is looking here so far <clears throat> and then this is the final purchased item and this was um, the sunny days jewels and gems so she will have five things from the sunny days collection I know she really likes Maggie Holmes I think that she'll really enjoy this collection and you can see here how all of that was decorated with simply that one collection kit now I've made some things with the collection kit. Here I have made her some bag toppers and I've taken one of the border um, strips on the 12 by 12 paper that had all the different 
borders that you could cut out and I cut out just one of the trucks and some of the rain boots and then I popped everything up I've sewed on a scalloped circle in behind there and you can see it's all layered and I put it all on a doily so she can just slip that over top of a <clears throat> a package that she wanted to send out and I did the same thing down here using the element stickers and some ribbon some little gold sequins these pretty gems and um, again those cutouts where I've just cut the little words out and here I've just tied a little twine on top of a bow with a scallop in behind she actually gifted this to me in a Christmas swap that we did so I'm using that on there to bring in some of the gold that's down in throughout this and I put some little pearls up there and this again was one of those border strips that was in a 12 by 12 piece of paper so I created that you would have seen my video where I made this tea um, tag flip and it has all of these different packages of tea inside these decorated envelopes that I've done all with this same spring market collection from Cartabella. I may have said Echo Park earlier. So Echo Park and Cartabella are almost one and the same but they're a little bit different. They're technically a different brand but they're under the same company another gift that I made for her here's the packaging so I've made a little simple topper here and I've made her a necklace so it's black um, base and the necklace is black as well and I've just taken one of the four by six journaling cards and I've used that as packaging and I've taken another four by six piece of paper I have sandwiched it in between I put some foam tape in between the two sheets so that the um, rest of the necklace is packaged in this little strip that's left. So I put the foam tape here and here and I left a groove for the necklace to go there. So she can wear this necklace that is part of the collection but um, I figure that like I wear a lot of black and so this is like a little pop of color on something black and it matches the collection perfectly. It's funny to send a spring gift that has so much black in it. This I have a video for. You will see me post a process video on how I created this um, pocket letter. And so you can watch the video. This is how I've packaged it up. I've put this clip on it as well as which she can reuse. I love these clips. And they came from Carlton Cards. And then I just tied a little bow around it and there's um, it's filled with all kinds of goodies and things on the inside. So <clears throat> that can go in there. Another thing that I have created for her is this little purse. I've used the Chamel box of crayons Hello to put on the purse there. I thought that looked really cute. And I filled it with some of my favorite caramel butter toffees and um, that's a little treat for her it's kind of like a has an Easter basket feel but it is a purse I put these little gems on there so this was from the crepe paper blog I used brads to create the um, should tuck this one in better I used brads to create the little um, purse handles <clears throat> this was very simple to put together and uh, and that'll be cute. Just stick the place there. And then something else that sort of matches. Just another treat. These are some of my favorite candies from Russell Stover's. I really love my favorite flavors together: chocolate and coconut, <laughs> chocolate and mint. Um, I love turtles, which are like the pecans and caramel. My other additional favorite would probably be a chocolate and peanut butter. So. I'm going to stuff this with some confetti. To cover all the contents, 
I've, I'm going to put a little note in here, and I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to write her a note, and I'm going to put it on top. That'll go in there. I'm just about to do that for her. And then I wanted to stick in these little butterflies. So let's see where... I wanted to have them sort of like on the top, sort of peeking out. inside here so that she's greeted by all these pretty butterflies when she opens the package and then she can use these are like picks that you can put out in the yard for spring you can put it in with your flowers that's a nice matching one sure this blue one doesn't really match very well. We should leave that one out of the box. Just put these ones in there. <laughs> Try to close that with maybe some of them open so that they can kind of <laughs> be open when she opens it up. And then I'm going to sprinkle in some confetti. Some of these, my favorite little jewels, just for some sound. Yeah, and there you have it. So this is the box that I'm sending off to Tina, and it will uh, ship out. And we are posting all our videos on, I believe it's April 20th, Sunday you'll be seeing this. So I'm shipping this off for April 1st, so she will long have received and opened and filmed and be posting and I'll link her channel down below so you can see her unbox everything and all the things inside and her reactions. And uh, you can watch for my unboxing because I'm not sure who is sending me something, but I will be getting from the group of girls that we are um, scrapping with for this Happy Mail project. We um, will each be getting an anonymous spring box so that's mine that's going off to her i'll finish that up and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time bye